So, I've been going to Emerald City Comic Con since 2017, and I never vlogged it, so I figured today I'd vlog it. This is the last day of uh, 2022's Emerald City Comic Con. I went yesterday, so today's my second day, but it's the fourth day of the con. Uh, this is what I picked up yesterday. This was just some local guy, like, I think this is like a local dude just doing indie comics, and he was selling them. I was like, you know what? I'll support him, see, we'll see what's going on. Had a cool concept. Nottingham. Which uh, I picked up all because uh, Wes from Thinking Critical had uh, suggested me a while ago. He sung his praises, and I'm a big Robin Hood fan, so that looked cool. And then all this I got for 30 bucks. That's my favorite part about going to conventions, is getting cheap trades. So all these, 30 bucks for just these five books total, which is like awesome because anywhere else that'd be so much more money it'd be 30 for just one of these so i was happy about that but yeah we're about to go well i'm about to head out I'm gonna drive down to the light rail station because i don't want to park in seattle uh it's messy because i'm <laughs> i got a new i got new bookshelves and i'm reorganizing everything also i'm just messy in general but that's the excuse i'm going with right now i got new bookshelves and so uh i'm reorganizing everything because i used to only have that one single bookshelf so i'm like reorganizing everything very slowly but this is the uh this is how we're going, and we'll see Comic Con end. It's time to drive. Alright, just made it to the light rail station. Now I'm parked, I'm gonna go into the light rail and ride it down to the Westlake Center. And the goal now is to just not get stabbed by a homeless person high on fentanyl. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, so it's just like, I don't know, it's like a, maybe a 30 minute ride until we get to Seattle and then actually get into the con so so also i'm filming this on my phone as you can probably already tell because i don't feel like lugging my camera for all this so sorry if the quality is bad or if the audio quality or anything like that bad but it is what it is my car at the light rail station uh, I was at Emerald City Comic Con for about two hours because I was there all day yesterday so I knew I wasn't going to be there long today uh, wasn't any like panels or anything I wanted to see there wasn't really any creators this year I wanted to see Chris Claremont was there but I'd already met him before I didn't really like there wasn't really anything else I wanted him to sign really cared to meet him again this time so yeah and there wasn't really anyone else that I really cared to meet about or cared to meet there uh, but I can show you guys what I got today for the final day I got just three random back issues mainly because because i got a bunch of trades at like two other vendors on the con but no bag so i was just lugging around all these uh trade paperbacks with no bag and so this place had bags so i just bought some back, random back issues so i could uh so i could get a bag and now i'll show you guys the trades i got i got teen titans a kids game which is uh i believe this is jeff john's teen titans i think if i remember correctly does it say yes it is yeah I thought so. I've, I've read some of this a while ago, like a long time ago. I remember renting this from the library and reading it, um, but that was a long time ago. I don't remember the, any of this. This is just an issue they gave me for free for buying some trades. Like, they just give you a random issue, and that's what I got. Um, Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 1, because this was $5. They had trades 50% uh, off, and see it's 10 bucks. So I got this for 5 bucks. We'll see how it is. Got that because of Logan, because Logan kept saying how good Ultimate Spider-Man is, and I should read it. I saw it for five bucks. So I was like, whatever. Uh, Deadpool, Daniel Way, Complete Collection Volume 1. If you, As you saw earlier, I got Volume 2 and 4 
um, for like super cheap. This wasn't quite as cheap because this was a different vendor than what I got from last time, but I saw volume one. I was like, yeah, I'll get that because Daniel Way is my favorite Deadpool writer. So yeah, pick that up. Uh, Superman City of Tomorrow. This has a lot of like the Jeff Loeb Superman stuff, which is a lot of what I grew up on. Like when I was really first getting into comics, Jeff Loeb Superman was what I read a lot of. Nightwing Volume 4, because I have every single other volume of Chuck, of Chuck Dixon's run on Nightwing. Volume 4 was the only one I was missing. They had it. Got it. And then last is uh, Something's Killing the Children. I've been meaning to read this for a while, but I couldn't ever get the first issue. I couldn't find it. Like, I could never find the first issue. I heard it's really good, and they had the first volume there. So I was like, screw it. I'll pick that up. But yeah, that's my pickups for Emerald City Comic Con. I think the only thing I didn't show you guys was from yesterday. I picked up... Like, all, I picked up almost every issue of uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths, except for issue 7 and 11, because they didn't have, not 7 and 11, 7 and 8, because they didn't have those, but I picked up every other issue, because I was like, oh, I don't have Crisis of, on Infinite Earths, so I was like, why not pick it up in issues, that would be cool, but they didn't have all of them, so that was a little upsetting, now I gotta go hunt down 7 and 8, which I couldn't find today either, so a little upset there, but I can go on, like, eBay or something, but yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, the con. I'm horrible at vlogging. There's not really anywhere I could have like stopped to like talk during the con because it's just like loud and you know you're just walking the whole time. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you later.